I'm in Backup Exec 22. I've also included in this playlist installation and overview of this application. What I want to do is I want to add storage so I can run some backups. So if I go to my File Explorer, you can see I've got some additional drives here available. I'm going to choose to add in the F drive as a backup drive. So what I'm going to do is go to Storage. And then from storage, I'm going to click on configure storage. Now there's also cloud storage, which I'm not using in this video, but we'll uh, show you how to do that in another video in this playlist. So I'll click on configure storage, and this is going to be local storage, disk based. You'll see you can also choose cloud storage from here as well. We also have some other options such as network storage, and we have tape storage, which is still supported in Backup Exec 22, as well as storage pools. Now I'm going to choose the, the disk-based storage. That's going to be the simplest of all. And I'm going to choose just regular old disk storage. Deduplication is another option. If you have a lot of duplicate files, it'll save you a lot of storage space. If you are already using deduplication on your server, then I don't recommend you do it here as well because it won't give you any kind of an advantage. Then you also have the import a legacy backup to disk folder. That's if you need to restore data from an older version of backup exec. So I'm going to continue with disk storage and I'm going to leave the default name, but you can change it if you'd like. And you can see it automatically picked my F drive, which is the largest available one. Of course, we don't want to choose the C drive because that's the drive we'll be backing up. If I choose to use the network share, as you see here, I'll have to put in the UNC path. So that, that would mean backslash backslash server name, backslash share name, whatever that server name and share name is. And then it'll back that up. You can't use a local drive letter for that one. I'm going to continue with my local disk. And now it's going to show concurrent write operations. This is kind of important. If we go with too high of amount of write operations, it will wear the storage out more quickly because it's going to be running multiple different backups at once. If we keep it too low, then it may take too long for certain backups uh, to complete if you have a lot of backups running, backing up a lot of different servers. So you have to kind of find the sweet spot that works for you and choose how many concurrent write operations you would like to choose. Now I'm going to confirm everything looks good and click finish. And my storage is going to go ahead and be, yeah, it's there it is, click OK. And there's my storage. Now if I double click on storage, you can see that it's going to the F drive and then the BE data backup folder. So that's where I can find my backups after I run them. You can also make any other changes here you'd like. I typically leave this just the way it is. Uh, for instance, it'll tell you critical warning and low disk space information, as well as other information that you can change. So I'm going to go ahead and continue by clicking on the All Storage button. And now I'm ready to run my first backup. So that is how we add backup storage for a local drive into Backup Exec 22.